We can't wait any longer for Dwinmog. Who knows if he found food? And even if he did, who knows if that great monster could find his way back to us in time? One more day like this and we're goners. Forget about Dwinmog. I say leave now for Golden Valley. Now! Hear me, brother warriors, for our nights of starving are nearly over. The gorillas have left the mountains, and they are no doubt trying to reach their beloved Golden Valley. Dwimog the Mighty isn't with them anymore, and they grow weaker. as cute and pretty little lion as cub. If you come any closer, I'll bite you. I mean it. Why do you say that? You act as if I was going to hurt you. <coughs> now don't you run away from your sweet old Uncle Grim, huh? Don't. Oh! <coughs> You're not very nice, you know. Neither are you! You big bully! Hmm? Oh, you bit me. Oh, you bit my toe. Oh, my poor toe, that's not fair. I didn't try and hurt you, you know, did I? I just wanted to ask you if you saw my friends, the gorillas. I can't find my friends. <laughs> Please don't cry. I only bit you because you scared me. Everybody says that I'm a scared he. <laughs> oh, now cut that out. That tickles. Thank you. That's the first good laugh I've had in weeks. You know what? I know where your friends the gorillas are, I think. Or 
or at least which way they're going. I saw them march into the desert just an hour ago. I guess they're trying to reach Golden Valley before it gets too hot. And I guess they forgot about me. That's not all. Some other animals were following them. What? So that's it. I'd better warn my friends that they are being followed. Followed by who? The Mandros, a bunch of nasty baboons. Can I ask a favor? What do you want to ask me, Twimog? Will you go with me to the Golden Valley so I can warn my friends about the Mandros? Well, my father says I have to be home by supper. All right, until supper. <laughs> Rookie, hmm. Rookie? 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 Rookie, it's your father. Answer me. Rookie, where are you? Some are rookies. Better come quick. Rookies tracks in right here. There isn't any sign of a struggle. Whatever made these tracks must have picked her up and carried her away. These tracks belong to Dwimog. Dwimog the Mighty, they call him. I've never seen him myself. But from the stories they tell, he's the biggest, mean-spirited, quick-tempered, strongest ape that ever lived. The only thing he likes better than fighting someone is taking on an entire army at once. Everybody in the jungle's terrified of him. If the mighty Dwimog is the one who took Rookie, then... Oh, it's too awful to think about. Don't breathe a word about this to Leah or Rooney until I get back. I'm going to go after that bully Dwimog. No, Leo! Please, please let me find her in time. There's another one who didn't make it. How come you didn't leave for Golden Valley sooner? We didn't want the Mandrels to find out where the Golden Valley is. We said we'd much rather starve than lead them to it. nothing we could do and there's nothing we can do but go on no I can't go on I want to stay here and rest we all need to rest but if we stop for even a moment before we reach Golden Valley we're dead please wait I want to go with you I just need a little rest oh The 
fools can't last much longer. We're tired, too. Can't we give up and go home? What? Who said that? Who? Which coward wants to go home and starve instead of ruling Golden Valley? <gasps> Dwinmar! Dwinmar! The mighty's after us! <laughs> run! Run! Dwinmar, have you ever had the feeling you're being watched? Every now and then. How about now? There he is. Who's the tackle? Oh, my scrimna. That's the tackle. Oh, no. He's behind the rocks. He's quiet. So that's it. The gorillas had Dwimog the Mighty follow them from a distance. Well, it's too bad. Too bad their puny plan didn't find us out. Too bad for them, that is. What was that noise? Probably my stomach crumbling. I'm hungry. Gosh! Huh? It's supper time. I have to be getting home now. I thought that we were friends. I thought that you said you liked Dwemog. I do, but I have to get home sometime. Ah! Stop it, you're squeezing me. Little friend said she'd go to Golden Valley. I'm sorry, but I also said I had to go home. You did not really want to go with me, did you? And I bet you really did not want to be my friend either. Dwemog likes Rookie, but I can't make Rookie be my friend, can I? I am sorry. I am sorry. Please wait. Oh, Leave me alone! Please. Dwemok is sorry. Please wait, little friend. Uh, Dwemok, help me! Oh, oh no. Oh, I'll save you. Oh, 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 now I say I'm sorry to you and I let you go. You're a good friend, Rookie. You don't hardly know what a good friend is. You're right. I've never had a friend before, so how can I know what it's like? Thank you, anyway, for pretending to like me, Rookie. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Would my friend escort me to Golden Valley? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. That's the mighty Dwimwog. The guardian of the gorillas is no threat to us, my brothers. Rookie! What's that? Brother warriors, upon my command, now! Even the white lion falls before us, and nothing can stop us. Says the mountain, Golden Valley is on the other side. <laughs> on the other side, eh? All we have to do is make the climb up. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Mm -hmm. 
don't look okay, we'll be okay. Lead the way, my giant cowardly friend. Brother warriors, be ready for our victory. Scared Don't to move. move then. Just wait here and I'll save you somehow. Oh. 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 Too thin, what if it breaks? Well, what will you do if you stay there? You're right. Okay. We've made it to the Golden Valley without the mandrills following us. I've never seen plants like these before. What are they? Hmm. I guess their name is Dwimog's special favorite food in the whole wide world. Hmm. Want a bite? Hmm. Nom, nom, nom. Dwinmog! Oh no! You've probably led the mandrills right to us! No, that is not right. I thought that the mandrills were following you. You thought? The last time you were struck by a thought, you had to recuperate for a week. <laughs> You're not being fair! I was the one who saw the mandrills, and they were following you! Look out! Since I hate to see others fighting, let me settle this dispute. We were following all of you. Your scowls don't frighten us, Dwimog, now that we know the truth. You wouldn't hurt a fly, would you? Oh! oh <laughs> hmm? Come on, Dwimog, fight us. <laughs> 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 Not seriously asking for a fight? Yes, I am. What's the matter, you sneaky bully? You scared of an honest fight? <laughs> sure I am, girl. You got me shaking all over. Lion got away. We'll have one decent fight this afternoon. Let the girl go if you want to fight. If it's me you want, come on then. Hey. I'm getting sick of fighting by your rules. Hey. 
I know that you came to Golden Valley because you needed food, but I don't believe that's a good excuse for stealing. Especially when all the food you could want grows in an even better valley two miles west of here. Rookie, you scared me half to death. Scared you? You should have seen the face of the mandrel leader when she attacked. She was great. Oh, Rookie! Rookie! Goodbye, Twibog the Mild. I'm glad you found your friends. I could not have done it without you, Rookie. Goodbye, my friend. Rookie, how do you feel about a race all the way home? You're on! All right then, let's not keep your mother waiting. Ready, set, go! Yeah.